So why do some aircraft have this left turning tendency, especially when flying slow at higher power settings? Well, there are three main factors to consider. They are torque, propeller factor or P factor, and slipstream effect. You may have heard of Isaac Newton's discovered law that states for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. For an airplane, this applies to the propeller. Because the propeller turns right, this causes the airplane to turn left. In the air, this means the airplane will roll to the left. On the ground, this means the airplane will yaw to the left, caused by weight and friction on the left landing gear. P-factor also involves the propeller and occurs when an airplane is in a high angle of attack, such as when in a climb or slow flight. In these conditions, the blade moving up takes out a smaller slice of air versus the descending blade, which takes a larger slice. This difference in thrust causes the airplane to yaw to the left. The final factor is slipstream effect. Air behind the propeller rotates around the fuselage of the airplane and strikes the vertical stabilizer and rudder on the left side, which pushes the tail to the right, causing the aircraft to yaw to the left. Although the aircraft is designed with some adjustments to account for this left turning tendency, you will often need to apply right rudder in high power, low speed conditions to compensate. To demonstrate this, watch what happens when I do not apply right rudder during takeoff. And there you have it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to learn more.